Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out here in this episode, we're going to be flying the polarizing filter. Now, I know I've already done a little brief flight with the polarizing filter. That was more so to really talk about the issues that were surfacing about the Polar Pro filters before they stopped selling them and issued refunds. Uh, this episode is going to be more so to focus on the polarizing filter itself, where you'd use a polarizing filter, what you should expect. So I've already checked hover, I'm good to go, clear to fly, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this guy up. And so we're arming it, and we're going in the air. And we've got everything set. I want to start videos, I do my walk around. Again, holding pretty good. Again, I like to do a little bit of these walk arounds to give it time to set in, see if it's going to toilet bowl, do anything strange, fly off to China, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and again, hopefully it doesn't, so that's always a good thing. So uh, you can see the filter on the front of the camera. So we have the, uh, the polarizer filter. So I am going to go ahead, I want to take this out, and then I want to take this up a bit. And again, the sun's starting to get a little bit in the way, so I need to kind of get back here. I'm going to turn it and take it up and out over the spillway again, like I've done in the other videos. And then I want to get some, uh, turn get some videos of the spillway. And let's kind of take it out and get it a little bit more centered. And I think I'm pretty much centered. So um, again, with the polarizer, you'll notice in the video, uh, unlike the ND16 that we uh, shot with or will shoot with, to be honest with you, I'm not sure where I'm going to put this in the order. I might actually put this at the back. So just a little rambling to myself. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this at the back. And uh, because one of the things, notice the the uh, lesser contrast of the, the uh, sky back this way with the polarizer. But also notice the water too because this is one of the places where polarizer really excels is, is water shots or high glare shots really turn out pretty nice. Now this is not a circular polarizer, it's a linear polarizer so you don't have the little ability to turn it and adjust the polarization levels which you know obviously wouldn't be much value up there how would you really turn it so uh, uh, you kind of have to live with the vertical polarizing so it's going to take away a little bit of the advantage um, and as you see you saw maybe a little bit of a gimbal bounce there you know we've seen a little bit of gimbal bounce now one of the things I want to look again in a different direction so you can get a little bit different aspect because one of the nice things about shooting today is this way we have clouds this way we have it's still pretty clear so we're able to get some pretty good comparisons so now we got some video so I'm gonna drop out of the video right now and what I want to do is get some single shots to uh, to really just use an example so now I'm gonna yaw this background and get some shots of it down the spillway and so But those uh, wispy, I think those are cirrus clouds up there, really come out nice, uh, again, with this polarizing filter. And it does a really good job. I also like the greens, how it pulls up the green. Um, you know, you can maybe see a little bit of the green contrast in the hat cam. But I tell you what, it really kind of pulls up the green, at least on the cell phone, vi uh, cell phone FPV view of this. So that is really, really nice. So, uh, again, I want to take this up a little bit higher. I got some fairly good batteries, so let's, I'm up 24, 25, 26, because what I want to try to do is, uh, I think, whoop, I, let's, let's take a shot, but let's, uh, let's also get video going. So now I've taken it up, so I want to go up, so now what you're doing is you're seeing the lake. And what I want to do is I want to get up around 150 feet or so uh, to give some views of the lake to see, so you can really see what this is doing, you know, how this polarizer really affects water as a whole. So we're, we're a few blocks off the lake here, but again, at this altitude, 65 meters, I'm up, uh, easy to see. 
And let's just kind of do a bit of a yaw party because you can just see how long we run up the lake here. And you can see some of the neighborhood. And you can see the spillway all the way back to the Black River. And you can see a little bit downtown and towards downtown anyway. And coming back around, so you're seeing the south side of the lake, and we're just kind of looped back around. So, anyways, uh, I think a pretty good view of the lake. I'm going to drop out of video mode here for a second. And I want to shoot a few more pics. And I want to get this centered. This would be a great panorama shot, if you would. So I'm going to now, let, well, let's see, I'm going to turn this back, so give you something to look at here. I'm going to back to shooting video, and I'm going to start bringing this back down. And we should start losing the horizon here pretty soon. It does take a while for this little guy to come down. I'm a little bit uh, nervous because I'm not really overly nervous. I'm starting to run a little bit low on battery. And I'm still pretty high, but I don't know if you can see it up there. I'm coming down. And actually, I want to try to bring it over me just in case. And I'm just trying to watch this again through my glasses and not run into any trees and not walk into anything. And I uh, tell you what, let's gimbal this down. And you can see see the landing pad. So let's uh, starting to complain about low battery. I don't know if you can see it up there. She's coming down a lot quicker now. And she's giving me the low battery lights. And so we need to kind of pull it over there. And uh, let's back it up a little bit. And, uh, whoops, getting it over a little bit too much. So let's go ahead and bring it down. I, I'm interested that I'm not seeing the, although you can see on the circle here, I'm fairly close to the circle. Let's back up a little bit. And let's just set her down there. Yeah, I missed my glass. I'm looking through my reading glasses. So, anyways, let me go ahead and save out the video before I forget. Uh, so I'm going to have to readjust the head cam a little bit. So, pretty good flight with the uh, Spark again. So, uh, love this little copter. Uh, hey, don't forget, down below we have the Everything Spark page. So, I've set up a page on the Video Drone website. You can click the link below. Uh, it's a curated page where I've gone out and i searched for a lot of these uh, parts for... Uh, the sparker accessories, like what you see with the prop guards, the landing gear, all that kind of stuff. I also have done a 3D printable page uh, of things like the the, the pad and, and different parts for the spark. If you have a 3D printer, you can print. So all kinds of good stuff. So make sure you check down below. Uh, you know, and also it helps support the channel and everything when you pick up something like this from Amazon and. You know, that's why, again, I'm doing the work for you guys, uh, coming up with all this cool stuff. I'm buying it, reviewing it. So, again, you know if it's good, bad, or what you think of it. So, anyways, you know the routine. Subscribe. What are you having for lunch today? Uh, I had a bologna sandwich. wasn't that great, but, hey, it was a quick lunch anyway. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you've flown with the, the uh, polarizing filter, what you think of the polarizing filter, what you used it for. Let's have a conversation, and we'll see you in the next Folks.